This 100 dips a day for 30 day challenge was hands down the best upper body workout challenge I have ever done for improving my physique in such a short period of time. I was shocked by the results when I went to look at the comparison photos and I couldn't believe how much I'd improved in just 30 days. To me, it looked like my pecs seemed to have doubled in size. I know they were rock hard. My back became massive. My lats almost looked wing-like and that improvement alone was huge. My shoulders were turning into boulders and protruding out and my arms just looked way more solid than they did before. Now it should be noted that this challenge is extremely difficult, especially if you've never done dips before. I've been doing dips off and on since I was a teenager. I first read about them in a Joe Weider bodybuilding book and how they were great for expanding your rib cage. I know the first time I did it, it felt like the cartilage in my sternum popped and I was sore for about a week just from doing a few reps. So if you've not done dips before, you're likely going to get pretty sore, but it's worth it. Dipping ain't easy, but it sure is fun. So before taking on this challenge, I did dips intermittently to get my body acclimated to the soreness. Even still, I became very sore. 100 dips a day is a lot, especially day after day. And when comparing this challenge to a challenge like the push-up challenge, where you're only supporting 69% nice percent of your body weight in the up position and 75% in the down position, you're supporting 100% of your body weight at all times with dips. You're also activating a lot of muscles when you're doing dips. You're targeting your chest, your shoulders, your lats, your triceps. I was really surprised how sore my back got from doing dips during this challenge. It was something that I didn't remember from the past, but boy, I can tell you, my lats were burning. Now, when it came to sets, I focused on trying to get as many reps as I could for the set. On my first set, for instance, I'd do maybe 25 or so. Then for the second set, maybe 20 or so, and then 15 to 10 for the rest of the sets. There was no hard set number for each set, just accumulation of sets that equaled 100 reps in total. In the beginning, I would do sets throughout the day, mostly just because I was so sore and that was the only thing I could do to get them done. It was just extremely difficult. But as the soreness started to wear off, I started to get them done in just one setting. I would rest for maybe three minutes between sets. Now, I typically did dips while I was doing other things around the house, so I just fit them in. I didn't usually concern myself with how long I rested between each set. I mostly focused on making sure that I was pushing myself hard during each set and trying to get as many reps as I could in for that set. So when it came to my diet, well, I ate a lot of eggs, probably three to six every day. I also had a fair amount of tuna, nuts, potatoes, and olive oil. Those are pretty much the staple of my diet, but I also had beef, mostly in the form of steak from time to time. Now, I recently tried to eat as much unprocessed food as I could, and it's really had a huge impact on my overall health. I went over my diet and blood work in a previous video and how everything's changed. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put the link below in the description. As far as my dip bars, well, I just picked those off Amazon. They were around $50 and they were well worth the investment. I really like them a lot. However, if you don't wanna spend any money on dip bars, I've seen other people use two chairs. I just make sure that the chairs you have are solidly built because you don't want those things breaking when you're doing dips because that will hurt yourself. Well guys, that's all I have for you in this one, and I just want to say thank you for watching.